Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial. This video will show you how you can download and install Visual Studio 2017 Community Edition. So first of all, go over to visualstudio.microsoft.com. The link will be in the description. They keep changing the URL and website which makes my content irrelevant after some time. So I'll try to keep my description updated as much as I can. So go over to download. You'll find three download options of the latest version of Visual Studio which is 2017 right now which are community professional and enterprise community is free for everyone and great for starters so click on free download they might ask you to take a survey and a installer will start downloading once you have that downloaded open it up and start downloading another installer now while that goes on let me show you how you can find older versions of visual studio you might not want the latest version depending on your system so if you scroll down to the download page you'll see something that says older versions if you click that it takes you to a list of all the previous versions of visual studio all the way back to 2010 after the installer have finished fetching files it will come up to the main install in window here choose the items that you want in your visual studio the first three components include visual basic items c++ desktop developments and more if you scroll down you'll find tools for web applications mobile and gaming and more other tools choose the components depending on what you will do with visual studio i will go with the first two components now on the corner you'll notice the total required size for your downloads you might want to do something about where you want to install all the components i keep all my stuff on a disk other than my c drive where i have windows installed so my computer does not get slowed down there is a tab that says installation location that's where you select the place for your files you also have a language tab where you can select like install all preferred languages and an individual components tab that's where you can manually select the components and items you want you don't have to worry about that if you're just starting out so finally once you are done selecting everything you can now click on install and visual studio will start getting installed So when your installation is successful, you can launch Visual Studio. They might ask you to log in with your Microsoft account and that's basically all. You can now start making apps on Visual Studio. Subscribe for more Visual Studio tutorials and programming stuff and thanks a lot for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.